What's up guys, welcome back to the Team Home Circus Live video. Tony left side here with Brandon Despia with a brand new card, Chaos Star Source Dragon, replacing the Copy of Guardian Chimera. And on the right side, we have Fire King, a brand new deck getting support with the new Fire King Yulcanics. Before we dive in, over like, comment, shout out, helps the channel a lot. We're on the road to 10k here. We are going to be seeing Brandon going to be hitting it off first with a fusion deployment. Um, and then we're going to be seeing a copy of... Grand Giganol being revealed to summon up that Cartesia from the deck. This can allow us to dodge Imperms, Veilers, and stuff like that. And we do see, in response, a Kieran going to be activated there, which is now going to allow us to destroy a Fire-type in our hand. Uh, and we do chain the Cartesia to that, using itself and the Albas in the hand to go for a Grand Giganol. Uh, this is now, we'll let Grand Giganol activate its effects. We're going to be seeing a Grunix being destroyed, or no, not a Grunix destroyed, an Arvada being destroyed, revealing that Grunix in the hand, and then we're going to be seeing on summon the effect of Granganol going to be activated as Chainlink 1. And they are going to be reading that. They're going to Chainlink to the uh, Garunix. Oh, we're gonna chain, we're gonna actually go gr the Garangi and I'll chain link one, okay. Then we're gonna dump a Sorinir there. And then Sorinir will be chain link one. We're gonna be also seeing, they're gonna go for the Quirtus as well. And then we're gonna be seeing the Kieran going to destroy itself. Our Grunix can destroy the Kieran from the deck, which is then going to be able to reborn out that copy of the Arvada. And then we're going to be seeing Sornir dump that Brand Fusion. And then Arvada will be summoning itself. Or, yeah, Kieran will summon out the Arvada here. And we're going to see Ponix also trigger to be able to summon itself out. And then we're going to destroy the. Uh, the whatever it's called there. Uh, the Quiritus, and then we're going to be seeing Ponix going to be able to search, and then Quiritus can summon with the Albaz. Albaz will then activate its effects, uh, discarding another Albaz, and then we're going to be negating that with the Arvada, uh, destroying the Ponix, which is going to be able to add itself back. We then normal summon out Quem, activating its effects, and like we've gone through the complete Fire King stuff during their opponent's turn. I was kind of trying to follow what was going on here, but we're going to be sending the Retribution to the Graveyard, which can then banish itself to add back that Branded Fusion. Uh, so now we can activate Branded Fusion, and... We have an Ash there. We have to say the last Albaz is on the field. We do Thrust, which can let us search for the Fusion Deployment. And uh, just like that, we're going to pass turn on that. We're going to be seeing the Cart uh, yeah, Cartesia being added back to the hand. And that's going to be it. They're going to be adding during the standby phase here uh, for the opponent. But... We're going to see Ponix during standby adding itself back. They're going to chain the fusion deployment, which can then copy the branded fusion in the graveyard and allowing us to fuse. Which we're going to be seeing using the tragedy as well as the Albaz on the field going for that Lubelion. Lubelion will then be able to... Oh, what are we... What? Yeah, we're going to activate the Lubelion. We're going to go for the Gimmick Puppet, and then we're going to Chainlink 1 Lubellion, discarding the Cartesia, Chainlink 2 uh, Quem, target Cartesia, because it is discarded for cost. That's going to resolve something with that Cartesia, and then we're going to be able to put back, uh, we can put back the Albaz in the Graveyard alongside the uh, Grand Giganol from our Banished to go up into a Mirror Jade. And then they're going to be able to continue their turn. Pretty nice, to be honest. We do see an Imperm in the hand, but they have like an Arvada, uh, as well as uh, the Kirin and the Garunx on the field already. We do normal summon with the Ponix, letting us search for a Skyburn. This will destroy up cards on the field. And, you know, we can then get the effects of our guys. You know, if we destroy the Kirin alongside 
uh, the Garunix, we are going to be able to trigger the Kirin and then send out that Garunix and then be able to trigger that Garunix. Alongside the Kirin, we'll pop a card on the field as well. Uh, so kind of important that we do figure out, like, there's lots of different interaction points that we can do, uh, I guess I should say here. But now the, uh, it does target, so we will be able to chain Cartesia to that. Um, and then Arvada will be able to negate as well. But we're going to be overlaying into a uh, Garunix Eternity, which is going to activate the effects to destroy all the cards on the field. And we do chain the Mirror Jade onto that, sending for cost, sending an Albion. And that's going to resolve banishing the Arvada. And then we're going to be seeing the Garunix destroy the entire field here. Which is going to be the Ponix, and that's it. And then we're going to be able to activate the effect of the uh, of the um, Mirror Jade here. We then see a Sanctuary being placed for the Fire King Island. And we have nothing here that we can really do. We can pop Fire King Island. Or we can pop the Grooms with Fire King Island, which can then let us search for the Yulcanix, uh, or the Rangbali in this case, you know, being a spell and trap gate. And then we can actually just see the entire... Uh, field essentially come back grunix being able to be summoned kieran being able to be summoned as well as they bring bali we're going to be destroying the new card from the deck which can then summon it the other grunix but it has summon in defense position which is going to be unfortunate it doesn't look like we exactly knew that there and we have 71 damage on board unfortunately uh, but we don't really have another way to kind of get over that there so we do calculate and they have nothing. We have a spell and trapping gate, but unfortunately, we're going to be seeing the uh, the mirror jade kind of board wipe us. But we are going to go attack, attack, and we do uh, read over the that guy there. We now are going to have to be forced to link up into like an IP alongside the. Um, or I guess we can just go for Hida because then the Rian phase is going to be destroying these. And then that's going to let us trigger those effects. We will see the effects of Garunix alongside the, um, the Charmer being able to search. Yeah, we set those first and then we go to end phase. That makes a lot more sense, yeah. Going to be seeing the Arvada being searched there, and then we also are going to be seeing the Ring Valley summoned back out off of the Kirin. And then Cartesia will be able to add back, and we're going to be seeing the Albion going to be able to resolve, uh, setting us a copy of, or adding us perhaps a copy. I see a High Spirits there, so adding the High Spirits to the hand. This can send the Granganol from the extra deck. And let us search, but we are going to be cutting the deck there, and then we to draw for turn. And steering the standby, we are going to be seeing the Grunix summon and destroy everything out. And the Ponix be able to add back. And then we can go Kieran summon, because it did see things being destroyed. And then Kieran will then be after the fact destroying from the deck, being able to destroy. Uh, the Kieran summoning back out that Ring Bali. So now we have Ring Bali alongside um, like Skyburn and the uh, Sanctuary to be able to overlay once again for a second. Uh, big Garunix there, but we're going to be seeing the uh, Albion sending the Branded Opening the graveyard to allow us to draw one card you know kind of replenishing our hand and getting that opening in the graveyard is kind of nice especially when you're playing against a destruction deck i don't think it's going to matter right now unfortunately because we are a little bit past and we do go high spirits and they chain ring valley but we have a droplets there uh so we are going to be able to negate that and then we get to send the grand giganol which can let us search and we send the cartesia as well Maybe going for that uh, Quem. I think High Spirits has to add a different name. So we can't just add the Cartesia back. But 
They do admit defeat here, realizing that they have lost the game, though. It wasn't going to be enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, looking back, Quan wasn't going to do anything, uh, especially because we banished that branded um, that branded fusion. That's my problem with like, the branded deck right now. As much as I love branded, branded fusion to one definitely hurt the deck quite a bit, and people like, tried coping, even myself. So like, oh, the deck doesn't hurt that much. It deck isn't hurt t turn zero that much. Obviously, our consistency is significantly down, but the problem that the deck is like hurt by is like in the grind games. If you have to go fusion deployment, uh, fusion duplication, banishing your branded fusion, you can only get it back with kit, and then kit puts another card back into your deck. And then like if you used all your cards with like with the branded uh, openings, your uh, Lubelions, and then also um, with like droplets. A lot of the times you're not going to have a card necessarily you want to put back. And like you do get those draws off Guardian Chimera. You get the draws off of uh, off like Albion stuff like that. Being able to put back and replenish your hand by dumping the graveyard. Like you do get lots of draws being able to add back Cartesian stuff like that. High spirits, but unfortunately just not exactly enough anymore. And that's the kind of unfortunate part. Like when you have so many decks, but they fed, just shove Fiendsmith and the Azamina stuff in. And like Brandon definitely can play the Azamina stuff, which we are going to be trying to fit in to the deck very soon. Uh, it's just a little bit too much for the current meta, unfortunately. Uh, but we're diving on to game two. We're going to be seeing Brandon going, going first once again. And we're going to be seeing a High Spirit dumping the Soranir, which is going to be one of the best combos that we can do. Dumping the Titanic Cloud, which can now let us search for a copy of Cartesia. And then we can see the Soranir dump whatever else that we need. Uh, and we see an Albion in the hand as well. So we could be dumping the Albaz off that if we wanted to, to be able to summon out that copy of Cartesia. So we see Cartesia being searched, and then Soranir are going to be able to dump. Dumping the Retribution to the graveyard. And the Albion now in the hand has different has like two different options we can do. We can go activate the effect, dumping a Granite Fusion if we want to, or just going for that uh, Al Albaz so we can get the uh, the Albaz in grave. We go for the Branded Fusion, and we just draw an additional card. And it looks like we have, I thought we said a loss in the field, but we don't. We're going to be banishing the Retribution to add back the Branded Fusion. And we have a Fusion Deployment, which is what the card I was looking for. We're going to be seeing the Dragon All being revealed, summoning out that second Cartesia from the deck. Now, some builds do play three. I definitely think that is going to be a little bit incorrect, especially if you introduce the Azimuth stuff to the deck. Uh, but... We're going to be seeing the Cartesia being summoned, and I'd find a brand of fusion, which can allow us to fuse an Albaz alongside a Lubelion. To go for that Albion, and then we're going to be able to activate the effect here, which can let us banish uh, the Sornir in the graveyard. And we do see an Imperm on that Albion. We could chain the Cartesia. But if we do that, we won't be able to get the uh, the effect here of um, of lost place on the field, I guess I'm trying to say. We won't get to get the loss on the field with that Lubelion. We do tag out the Cartesia in the hand alongside uh, itself, or the Albion, I should say. Leaving that Cartesia on the field, we then go Lubelion discarding the uh, Gold Shark. And we do go, okay, so we have another Imperm for that on the Lubelion, and we cannot dodge it this time, unfortunately. Oh, they're going to do it on the Garanganol? Okay. That's going to let us not be able to dump the Gimmick Puppet Nightmare here, going to kind of allow us to play through this. But I think that we still are able to, because we have that copy of uh, Cartesia on the field. We are going to go into the Mirror Jade, and then we're going to go End Phase Cartesia, is going to add itself back alongside the titanic cloud can be able to resolve someone with the quem quem can then dump the albaz from the, to the graveyard we want an albaz engrave yeah and then albion will also be able to set a branded in red and i think at this point we have the sanctifier alongside the Garanganol line. We just don't have the protection of McCurrier, unfortunately, or the Lost on the field as well. So. You're going to see a branded opening being added to the hand, and then we're going to activate the branded opening using the Cartesia to go for the Aluber. Aluber will then activate the effect, letting us search for 
branded in red. And then we can activate the branded in red as well if we wanted to, to go immediately into the sanctifier. Using both of those to go up into the sanctifier, okay. And then we just pass turn on this. We're gonna be able to use the Cartesia during the main phase uh, to dump. And we see the sanct uh, we see the copy of the sky, uh, the island being placed with Sanctuary. And then we're gonna activate the effect, destroying the Kirin, letting us search. And we're not gonna gimmick puppet anybody yet, which is very interesting to me. We see also see a Dominus Impulse in the hand. Now, the very important part about when you are playing Dominus Impulse, immediately, the moment they see that, they know that Nibiru is not going to be a problem anymore, nor is going to be Ogre or Failure. And then we can also count like Mourner if you want to, but we already see the Cartesia going to be hit with that Impulse there, letting us not able to special summon out that Grand Gigi at all, which would then allow us to dump that Gimmick Puppet to essentially lock our opponent out there. We do see Kieran summon up the Garunix, which then we got to activate the effect, but we're first we're going to be destroying a card on the field, and they're going to read the Mirror Jade alongside Sanctifier, and uh, regardless, they're going to be able to be protected by that opening, and we do activate the uh, Garunix on now summon. We chain the Mirror Jade sending... the Alba... And then we chain droplets to negate the Runix, as well as Quem is going to be able to then summon out the uh, Mirror Jade on resolution. And with that, we just admit defeat, realizing that we have lost the game there. You know, we see a nice combination of card effects going to let us still get that game. Very complex gameplay and very, very complex game uh, mechanics there that was being utilized on the branded player. Uh, very well played on their part, especially when you're down to like one card. Uh, there's not going to be much that you can really do. But being able to play it that way can uh, can just be very crucial, especially not even needing the gimmick puppet. Like we did see us go for that gimmick puppet, but being able to still get the win without it was quite nice. Through three hand traps as well, which I like to mention. But now we're going to be moving on into game number three. Branded will most likely be going second this time. Uh, they had to go first game one and two. But now we're going to be able to kind of see if we can have any board breaking capabilities, which the deck does have in quite a bit. Unfortunately, the Fire King deck can, you know, play very mid range, being able to play kind of slowly as well to hurt the deck. I don't know, just with a bunch of those. Uh, of like power cards. We also see the Scattershot alongside the Baby Kieran being placed into the deck uh, for time as well. We are approaching time. You know, I think that there is six minutes left on the clock at the moment. And we're gonna be seeing the Branded player going second with Fire King going first. Normal summoning the Ponyx activating the effect and we search for the Sanctuary. Sanctuary then places the island on the field. And we can see Island then be able to destroy. And we have an Ash in the hand as well, which is going to be very good against the Branded player. I think an Impulse and a Kirin. See Ponix being destroyed, searching for Garunix. Garunix will then activate the effect of Summon, destroying the Arvada. Arvada will then be able to bring out the Ponix once again. And... We could have destroyed our Va. We could have destroyed Barong. We may not play Barong as well, uh, but we definitely could have there. We're going to be seeing Kieran destroying an Ash Blossom to summon itself out. And then we could link away if we wanted to into uh, the Sunlight Wolf, go up in the. Uh, and if we, if we play the Anima, we can go for the Anima line, but it doesn't look like we do because we are going to link away that Ponyx immediately into the Sunlight Wolf. Then we're gonna link up into the uh, Princess, Princess bring back out. And if that's the case, I don't know why we don't just summon out the IP instead, uh, but we're gonna go into the Arvada off of that Princess and just set one and pass turn on this. Uh, so we're then gonna see a Gnome summon of the Aluber 
activating the effect, we are gonna activate the Arvada to negate that, and we do chain the droplets on it to negate, which is gonna allow the Aluber to resolve and not get the Princess in Grey, which is very important. I don't know what the last card in the, I know the last card in the hand is Ash Blossom. I don't know what the set card is, but that's gonna let us play through quite a bit there. Um, we see a lost being searched, so we have Brand Infusion in the hand already. Then we're going to activate Lubellion. Okay. Interesting that we have the Lubellion. Maybe we shouldn't have searched for lost. Maybe search for a red instead. Uh, we do activate Fusion to point, which is going to get hit with Ash Blossom there. If we have the brand infusion, it will resolve. We already see brand infusion. We have the D barrier, being able to call fusion, stopping this all together. Yeah, that's going to be essentially a game. We have a branded opening, sending that sore near. You know, maybe high spirits would have been a bit of a better uh, search. We see the quem going to be dumping the retribution. Alongside Sornir dumping the branded in red. We can retribution add back the branded in red. And then we can just kind of set that and pass. So not the greatest from us. We activate branded in red. Targeting the Aluber, we activate both of those going up into a Masquerade, I'm going to be assuming. Um, yeah, we go for that Masquerade, and we do look over at the clock uh, to see exactly how that time is going to be played out. We do have access to an OTK with the Zelantis here. We see Lost search for the Albion. If we get another turn, I'd be surprised. But we do know that, these, that there's going to be like... Uh, yeah, Princess can bring back out... The Garunix with it can activate destroying from the deck of the Kirin, which can then destroy and then summon. We can destroy that. Uh, um, that copy of the burn. But we do protect with opening. That's one down. Uh, we go Ponix, be able to bring back out, and then Ponix will be able to search for Skyburn. And then we will take damage, but if we can just get game here, it's not going to necessarily matter. We see a little bit of a speed up going into the uh zelantis line here activating the effect summoning them back out and then we will be back for the effect of the princess destroying the arvada and we see it in admit defeat knowing they have lost the game with the ash in the hand as well uh there and, you know d barrier and ash is very good against branded unfortunately we weren't able to take game three we did see some cool plays though trying to get to there but unfortunately this was not enough we saw that double ash and then ash for turn just being a little bit too strong regardless we've been watching the video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to see more content like this, and stay safe. Peace.